Hey guys, it's Chris, your host for Eating Like a Local, the show where we uncover the best must-try menu items in the London area and beyond. Today, we're back at Paradise Cream to take a look at their Latin menu. We got empanadas, we got tequenas. Let's check it out. My name is Jorge, and I'm the actual owner of Paradise Cream. I was born and raised in Venezuela. Uh, I came to Canada around five years ago. After five years, I wanted to do something new. I love cooking. I opened a food truck, and then next thing you know, now we have the restaurant. Today, we're having the empanadas and the tequeños. Usually, if you go to a party, a wedding, a celebration, or like a special occasion, you will find them. So it's something big that we wanted to have here so people can try it. All right, so we're gonna dive into Paradise Cream's Latin menu right now. We got a selection of empanadas and tequeñas. It's a chicken empanada. And Jorge produced more of that garlic sauce that you saw from our burger video. Made in-house and a spicy variation of the garlic sauce. I think I'm gonna go spicy. Here we go, let's dive right in. Well-seasoned chicken and that spicy garlic sauce, just a little bit of a kick and that same great flavor you get from the regular garlic sauce. This garlic sauce is so incredibly addicting, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I ever get executed, I want a main line of garlic sauce just running into my blood. I think that's the best way to go. So what did you, like, so the tequenas, that's like uh, you said like a holiday tra tradition, yeah, you said? it's not holiday, it's just like a... <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try the tequenas next. Oh my God. It tastes like a mozzarella stick that wasn't up by white people. It's like when a dominant culture does something and it's shit and you get the OG version and it's like, it blows your mind and you wonder why you never, you never did it this way in the first place. Where has this been hiding, bro? How have I not had this in like 22 years of my life? Dude, you have to try this. I don't care. Just get in this. He's having a life-changing experience right now off camera. It's an epiphany. Holy shit. Next up, last but not least, we have the tequenas but this is a chocolate and cheese version. A little bit of a sweet and savory action. You know, sometimes you can't decide, you want sweet or savory. This covers both fields. I'm gonna dip in in the sauce. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, let's dive right in. Yep. It's like a chocolate mozzarella stick, except way better. So, Chocolate and cheese might sound like a very weird combination. And at first glance, I would have to agree with you, but the chocolate and the cheese go so well together. It's such an unlikely pairing. Like the cheese, you get that gooiness of the cheese and the chocolate just kind of envelopes the cheese, makes it really flavorful. A nice sweet dessert. And it's amazing, I, it's amazing. It's chocolate and cheese to Kenya's, that is the current eternal mood for the rest of 2018. Cheers. Mm. Man, I tell ya, those tequenas, those are some game changers right there. Mozzarella sticks are out, forget about them. You're never gonna live up to a tequenian mozzarella sticks. Tequenas are the new wave of 2018. This has been Eating Like a Local. I'm your host, Chris Downs. Catch you at the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked that episode of Eating Like a Local, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and if you wanna support the channel, our Patreon link is in the description down below. We can't wait to bring you guys more content. We'll see you at the next one. Peace.